Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. It is 40 degrees today. I want to check the bees before this polar blast hits us. Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. So we're in the apiary today. Um, only reason why I'm out here is it's around 40 degrees. Uh, what I want to do is go through these colonies and check and see uh, how the fondant looks. Um, I see some activity in the front, so but I'm going to check the fondant, scrape off if there's any dead bees on the laning boards, clean that up. It's very important to clean that out. And I got a little treat for you guys, so keep watching this video because Everybody that watches me, you know I like my gadgets. I have a gadget to show everybody. So, you know, you're curious about what your bees are doing inside of the hive. I got something to show all you. So, um, let's get this one here opened up and uh, clean the front off. And let's see what they show us. All right. So, all that I do here is... There we go. Clean that little front off. Okay, and let me set you over here. All right, I'll bring you over in a second. All right, all right. So we got bees in here. Uh, here's the fawn and what they've taken. Um, if you look down in there, you can see that there are girls down in there. So let me try something um, now. What I have that I'm going to use is this is a Depths Tech scope. And it is the model, it's the Depths Tech DS450. Uh, um, everybody knows that when you watch, you know I love my gadgets. Um, it films in 1080. So when I turn it on, okay, all right, it's powering on you can get perfect image here of in the hive. There's even a light on this thing. There you go. Look at that image right there. You can see the girls there. How cool is that right there? How cool is that? That is awesome. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For the colonies that have these uh, insulated inners, I can just put this in there, put that in, and you can see the bees. So, and let's just move down the line here. I'm going to go ahead and look at the two colonies that we have here. So, let me set you guys up here, and uh, let's check this first one. Um, let's see here. There you go, there you go. Wow, that's amazing right here. Look at this, look at this. Look at that. So they've really, really, they have done an amazing job taking that fondant. Um, that's really all I wanted to check right now is, you know, gosh, that's a nice amount of bees right there. You know, the bees are wonderful. I say they're probably the best uh, HVAC out there. They regulate the temperature inside of this. They regulate the humidity. Um, but what I want to say also is, um, if you're wondering, if this is like your first winter, okay, uh, we have some really cold weather coming. You don't have to worry about your bees. The bees do not heat this entire box, this entire hive here. They don't heat. They more or less keep their cluster warm. That's it. Now we have temps coming minus, what is it, uh, minus 40 wind chill in my area. And what's going to happen is when it gets to a certain point, you know, the bees, they slow up a little bit. Um, I don't know the exact temperatures, but, you know, they know what to do. Now this colony here, this is a little interesting. So you can see here. There's bees down in there, okay? That's good. They've taken some of that fondant right here. So let me get this put back together 
you can see right there, look at that, a couple of the girls are active. Now, if I'm looking at this scene here also, they have it propolized. So they're doing what they are meant to do. Um, am I worried that we have 16 mile an hour winds coming? No. I keep ratchet straps on all my colonies. Um, you know, they will be fine. Uh, these two colonies still doing good. Um, let's get back over to the main apiary and check on those here real quick. Okay, so we've got the depths tech. And let me hit record. There, we're recording. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. They are coming out to see us. That's awesome. Now, I want to see something else here. So, I'm looking at my bottom board here, and I can see, you know, there's a couple dead bees. Uh, not many, so that's a good sign. Um, there's some wax cappings. Now, you'll typically see that because as they get into the reserves, you know, they're going to be chewing off those wax cappings and they will drop, so that's good. Um, let's get over to this next colony here, and I really like this, being able to, you know, just not even having to open them up, and I can see. So, let's start record on this one. Oh, wow, look at that. How's that for a bird's eye view right there? Oh, that's awesome. Let's check the bottom board on this one. Same thing here. Just a couple bees there, so that's awesome. Um, really happy seeing that. Uh, let's get over and let's look at uh, my Apame, uh, the seven framer here, just to see what they've done. Okay, cluster is right there, and I'll bring you over. Um, look at this, look at this. Excellent, excellent. I'm closing this back up, I'm not gonna bother it. So, there we go. Ah. Uh, Seeing that size of a cluster in here, in this smaller hive body, I'm really happy with that. So let's let's go on and move up front. Um, let's see what uh, these colonies up here show us. There you go. Look at that. How's that for a bird's eye view? Get out of the way. I can't even get all the way in there. That's excellent. Excellent. Love that. Let's see. Very minimal bees on the bottom board there, so that's excellent. Uh, if you're worried about your colonies with this cold coming up, I've had colonies before with wind chills. Um, minus 42 is the coldest that I think I've seen, and they do fine. Um, as long as they have sufficient stores, your colonies will manage fine. So if you're a first-year beekeeper and you are worried about, you know, an upcoming uh, winter, you know, or upcoming cold, we have this, I don't know, whatever they're calling it, a polar vortex or something. They got names for everything now. Um, if you're worried about that, don't be. Um, you know, they, they, they should be fine. So, let's see here. Wow. Listen to this. So this is that colony that I did not mess with. 
and this upper portion here is still loaded with bees so all right now no bees right there that I can see let's get the scope all right everybody you see that right there okay this colony here is just really low and that is fine um, I moved away because I didn't feel like getting tagged um, but here you go here look at them oh that's awesome so so far what we see is let me put this back up top of there uh, of the colonies in the apiary all 11 still have bees now it's very early in the season so like I was saying um, you know that colony is low it's very early that's fine um, I want them really if they can start out low and work their way up that is fine um, but all the colonies here they still have bees at least they're still alive um, Gosh, I'm looking down and I can see some activity on the landing boards. Uh, I like it. So, 11 colonies still. We got bees flying. Um, I am going to get out of this uh, weather. Hopefully you guys all have a Merry Christmas. And until the next video. Um, now, forgot to say, this scope here, I will put the links and all that there. It does a really good job and you see how easy it makes you know I can look in there without having to really disturb a lot so this depth tech scope um, love it so y'all take care until the next one